What is happening in Saudi Arabia? And how has the country been transformed from an arid desert into a productive farming land? Flash floods have hit parts of Saudi Arabia as heavy rainfall has been recorded across the kingdom since the start of this year. Surprisingly, the desert is rapidly turning into fertile farmland, which is a shocking phenomenon even to scientists. Saudi Arabia is using a range of cutting-edge technologies to transform its desert into productive farmland. One such technology is the use of cloud seeding to increase rainfall in the region. Cloud seeding involves the injection of certain chemicals into clouds to encourage the formation of rain droplets, increasing rainfall in the process. Another technology being used is precision agriculture, which involves the use of sensors and data analysis to optimize crop production. This helps farmers to identify the specific needs of their crops, such as irrigation, fertilization, and pest control, and adjust their practices accordingly. Additionally, Saudi Arabia has invested heavily in vertical farming, which involves growing crops in vertically stacked layers, using artificial lighting and climate control systems. This allows for year-round crop production, with minimal water usage and no reliance on pesticides. Furthermore, the government has established large-scale desalination plants to convert seawater into freshwater for irrigation, as well as solar-powered irrigation systems and hydroponics, which involves growing plants in a soil-free environment. Overall, the use of such advanced technologies has played a significant role in the transformation of Saudi Arabia's desert into productive farmland, allowing the country to achieve self-sufficiency in several areas of agricultural production. Saudi Arabia is known for its hostile climate with little rainfall and mostly desert and arid lands. Historically, the country has never seen an annual rainfall of more than 150 mm, leaving just a small part of the southwest region for planting. Even up until the late 1960s, the country was recorded to still have as low as 400 square kilometers of fertile land, which is 0.5% of the entire country. The citizens survived mainly by planting small fields with local crops, while all other necessary food items that could not be planted were imported. However, the country has undergone a miraculous transformation in recent years. The government has made significant technical investments and initiated purposeful planning and acts to convert desert terrain into productive farming. The Saudi Arabian agricultural sector has been revolutionized thanks to significant investments and in initiatives that support cutting-edge agricultural technologies and rural infrastructure. The government had put a lot of effort into setting up facilities for making dairy meats and poultry meals early on in their investment. By 1985, the country had reached a point of self-sufficiency with regards to goods like milk, eggs, and meat. They not only achieved self-sufficiency, but also significantly increased agricultural exports. Additionally, a huge amount of milk was produced during this time with each cow producing about 18 gallons annually. Fish farms were expanding as well. These farms were started in both on land and offshore sites. The construction of these fish farms resulted in the production of seafood and the country benefited greatly from the production of shrimp. Saudi Arabia consequently grew to be a significant exporter of shrimp to nations like Japan and the USA. The key component in Saudi Arabia's startling and expanding farmlands is the oil dam. Saudi Arabia is the nation with the greatest oil reserve in the world, and the government used the nation's resources to create favorable conditions for the populace. The country quickly rose to own nearly 17% of the world's proven petroleum reserves, and with this wealth of oil resources, the miracle of quickly expanding farmland started. Today, Saudi Arabia is considered one of the seven modern wonders of the world, and an area that used to be a hub for food imports is now a hub for the export of goods, including wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, poultry, birds, fruits, vegetables, and even flowers. Hope it values your time and thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.